What's going on people? In this episode, I wanted to share with you the process that I go through when I want to make a drum kit and battery for by Native Instruments with samples that I get on Splice.com. So let's just hang. I'm Jorge Lanzas and now we break it down. <laughs> Okay, so here we are, home page of Splice, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to this set of sounds, just because I already decided that I wanna make a drum kit out of it. And this is when I say drum kit, so I'm only looking for drums, one shots in this case. So I already know I love this whole sample library, so what I do is I add it to my likes, and that is gonna make it so much easier for me to actually fish for it in my Splice app. I'm gonna show up in the top, and I'm gonna go to that sample pack i'm gonna say one shot then i'm gonna say drums and so let's just start with kicks let's do pineapple so we go to our battery a brand new kit and what we do is we drag it and it's in our sampler now It's the pecan. Do this one in the next octave. It's just snares. Oh, I love that one. Put it right here. And as you can tell right now, the way I space them, it's because I want my snares to be here on D and E. And then I want to have some sort of percussion right here. Let's go to claps. This I like, but I like it as a snare. So I'm going to put it right here. Perfect. that one in this kit in that one I like it let's do hats then okay let's do lavender we put it on seven because I like it here that's like an open hat we're gonna put that guy on 11 could be this and then at this point you already have a kit and you can actually start making music but wait and let's just try to finish the kit so I guess that would be this kit okay so the next step for me at least would be color coding and in this case I'm gonna use the scheme that I like to use most often which is gonna be this I'm gonna use red on the kick drums yellow on my snares my rims for this case I'm gonna do them green I'm gonna do these purple and then all the hi-hats this teal kind of color and okay so now that we did that let's just save our kit and let's give it a name that we are gonna remember so in this case I like future soul kit great okay so if you're a complete control owner the hardware piece you can see right now that I'm working on battery, but all my lights are blue. And you may already know this, but some of you may not. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to get all that color coding in your complete control for the same kit that you just did. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure that I close battery, open complete control. We're gonna try to open that kit and I'm gonna show you how to do it. My shortcut for doing it is I go to the browser section and I do have a favorite, even though it's not the kit that I did. I'm still gonna use it and as you can tell oh, we got the beautiful LEDs back so what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna go right here open recent and our kit is right there color coded ready for your enjoyment let's go back to the old guy so there you go that's how I do my drum kits in battery 4 by native instruments using samples that I get in splice.com 
I hope that you got something out of that, like philosophically or in ways of organization that you can apply to your own DAW and your own sampler. So like if you like this video, definitely subscribe, stay warm, stay safe, go to the comment section down below and let me know what you think. Other than that, I'm out. <laughs>